Hey Queens, I hope you're having a lovely day and you're staying sane. Two things, if you hear anything in the background of my video, it's most likely my cat, Gus Gus. Another thing, you're closer to my face today because we're only focusing on this area. Why, you ask? Well, because today's video is going to be how I do my makeup when I know I have to wear a mask. Um, and some of these people are trying to do a full face of makeup and try to make it last with a mask, but like, what's the point if no one's going to see that part of your face? So I'm just going to show you how I do my makeup if you're interested. If you're not, cool, I guess. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, hit that like button because all those things would help me so, so very much. All right, let's just jump into this video because now that I've like, blah, 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 like word vomited everywhere. So let's just get on in. All right, starting off with my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm pretty sure this is in light peach. Um, yeah, so basically just applying it and I will be blending my life away. Uh, while I'm blending my life away, let's talk about my current day. Uh, Gus Gus, my cat, is being a bad boy and bapped me while I was walking down the stairs, not once, but twice. So I had to put him in his room and shut the door. <sighs> I hate it when I have to, like, be the bad mom, but sometimes you just gotta be. Still blending my life away, I see. Um, just blending, 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 blending. Oh, and then I realized that I meant to use medium peach because, uh... As you can see, I kind of look like a red raccoon here. Uh, it, I'll, I'll tell you here in a little bit. I inserted, like, you know, a little bit of information. Uh, this is really awkward for me to do voiceovers. I don't know why. I'm always afraid that I'm going to mess up. Anyways, here's the part I was talking about. I'm realizing that this is going to look really crazy because... Um, I did a chemical exfoliant mask before I did this video, so I look super red, so that's, it's fine, it's fine. It'll look fine when I put on a mask, right? No one will be able to tell. All right, and we're back with Cody Airspun and Honey Beige. I actually accidentally purchased this product. I typically get the Cody Airspun in translucent, but I didn't know they had other shades, so I accidentally picked up Honey Beige, which it's not a big deal because I actually ended up really liking it. So I think in the future, I'm going to end up buying both shades. Uh, this is the, uh, it's a random Butter London palette, basically from BoxyCharm. I'm going to go into this deep brown shade and create a winged liner. Uh, for this look, I decided to do the Fox Eye Trend. So starting out, you create your winged line. Uh, it's pretty basic. Everyone knows how to do it, but we all struggle in our own way to create it. Uh, and basically, I just pray and hope that it looks good. I can't give you any tips or tricks because I don't have any. Um, and then for the inner corner, you basically start in the waterline on the top of your inner corner. And then you put the eyeshadow in the bottom waterline. And you kind of take it out farther than the inner corner just to create basically a winged liner in your inner corner. It's basically how it goes. I know you can't really see and I'm really sorry. Next, I'm going to take the Jaunta Blue Eyeliner in Dark Brown. And I'm about to make all these weird faces because I don't know if you can see the words. Uh, yeah. So I hope you're guys having a... Blah, blah, blah. I can't talk. I hope you're having a good day uh, and you're not getting booped by your cat because that would suck. Uh, here is this light shimmer that I placed all over the top of my lid. Um, you can't really see it, but it looks nice in person. Uh that, if that counts for anything. Uh, next, I'm going to take the darker shimmer and then the peak shimmer and just combine them. I was kind of just hoping that they would look okay. And I ended up liking it, so that's cool. Uh, gosh, I... Oh gosh, voiceovers are so awkward. Like, why? Why are they so awkward? It's probably just because I hate my voice and I know I'm running out of breath, so... There's that. Here's me 
liking these two colors together. And this is the Milk Makeup Waterproof Mascara. I wouldn't show you me putting it on because everyone knows how to put on mascara. But here it is because I want to show you that uh, my second impression of this mascara is much better than the first. Uh, just like I said what happened after I opened it and used it a couple times, it looks 10 times better. Um, I didn't show you the progress of my brows because that takes five ever. If you want to see a dedicated eyebrow tutorial type deal, how I transform these um, barely there things to actual brows, uh, just let me know in the comments down below and that might be something I do in the future. Okay, bye! Alright, and this is the finished product. See, like... What's the point of doing the rest of your makeup? As long as this looks good, you're fine. You're okay. Um, so this is just a simple little tutorial I thought I would do for you guys. <sighs> wow, the bottom half of my face is so red right now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I don't think I've done the fox eye thing on my YouTube, so... Hopefully you like this. This is kind of the look that I go for typically, but you can always change it up with different colors, different, you know, whatever. You can just do a one shade kind of look. Whatever your heart desires, makeup is there to be creative. Don't let one YouTuber tell you, oh, this is the look you have to do with your mask. No, you can literally do whatever look you want. I figured this would just be a simple, pretty one that anyone could wear or do, so, that's why I chose it. Do whatever you want. Let your creative juices flow. Um, and yeah, just a quick little reminder. If you're new, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Hit that like button because you didn't make it this far for nothing. So you might as well help a girl out. All right. Y'all have a good one now. Bye.